And our correspondent Tracy Chan also sat down with the IMF senior resident in Beijing, Alfred Schweik, to talk more about the first quarter growth and the impact on monetary policy reform as well as the progress of the global recovery. Thank you very much for taking time, Mr. Chipke. So the IMF left China's annual growth target unchanged at 7.5%. That's after months of credit speculation that many think could be a drag to the Chinese economy. What's underpinning China's growth? We expect the implementation of the reforms as announced by the third party plenum to be implemented gradually. Um, at the same time, um, our projections, however, also reflect uh, the measures that have been announced uh, by the government, the targeted uh, measures, and a somewhat more uh, benign or better global environment that should also support growth. Let's talk about first quarter GDP number. The big question now is what Chinese leaders will do in facing slower growth. Are we going to see stimulus measures to perk up the economy in the near future? Well, I think, um, you know, first of all, the State Council has already announced uh, a set of measures. Um, uh, to be rolled out. Uh, they range from expanding the tax credit for small and medium enterprises uh, to accelerating investments in railroads and also uh, increasing investment in urban uh, shanty towns. But the key here is that it also signals something that the government is willing to provide some support uh, in order to reach its uh, growth uh, target of about 7.5%. The Chinese government has said that they will sacrifice growth for reforms. So if there's no major stimulus measures, how are reforms going to be impacted? Since the authorities have indicated that the target is at about seven, at about seven and a half percent, mm -hmm. there's actually some flexibility, somewhat slower growth of, uh, if it is associated with the implementation of the reforms is something that the uh, IMF also supports. So, Mr. Shipke, many economists have said credit growth remains the biggest challenge to the Chinese economy as the root of many current problems, including the risks stemmed from shadow banking. Your thoughts? So, the key now is to move away from this credit-driven investment mm -hmm. and by slowly withdrawing the fiscal stimulus um, and relying less on, on credit financing, the government is able to move toward a uh, new, uh, new growth model, and that would also imply that the incentives for shadow banking um, that have financed the stimulus in the past will somewhat, uh, be, uh, will somewhat be less. So the United States and Europe are in a full recovery mode right now. How is a slower China going to impact world economic recovery? Demand from the United States and Europe uh, is, is picking up. Uh, that's good news for emerging market and it's also good news for China. Uh, what it actually implies is that the room for reforms in China, or this is an opportunity to implement, uh, to implement reforms.